Hello, I'm Tom. Paul. What's brought you to this part of the world? I'm trying to get away from an architect. I'm a teacher. I teach a boy who lives locally in a big house. A King's Thursday? Yes. Are you going to the party this afternoon? Yes, are you? Yes and no. <laughs> uh, I'd like to. I know Margot a bit. Do you? Yeah, she often has me at her parties. And then I write about them the next day for the Daily. You're a journalist? I have a society column. Golly. Is that a good career? So long as you can get into the parties, it is. <laughs> Don't know why, but um, Margot hasn't invited me this time. Perhaps she forgot. She told me she hadn't invited everyone that she wanted to. Oh, that must be it. <laughs> See, the thing is, I have a friend, a rival, really. Uh, he writes for the weekend. He's an unscrupulous little turd. I say, friend, actually, I hate the man, but he's going to be at the party. It would look pretty bad for me if he did a piece about the party and I didn't. I see. So, I was wondering if you could get me in. Right. It's just, my career sort of depends on it. Um. And as you say, she probably just forgot to invite me. Uh, to be honest with you, if I don't pull this off, I may as well stick my head in the oven. Oh, don't do that. Um, well, if you say she normally invites you, I'm certain she wouldn't mind you being there. <sighs> Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Let me get you another drink. It was the owls, wasn't it? Thank you. Oh, uh, so if you leave the back gate open at 3.30pm, please, and don't be alarmed, I may be dressed as an Arab. What's wrong with him? He's a journalist. Yes, he writes a column, doesn't he? He's the most despised man in the newspapers. My mother threw him out of her last party. And there he is, talking to the most indiscreet man in politics. He always wears an Arab disguise, every time. And he writes the most appalling things. When my mother finds out who let him in here, she will crucify them. Well, let's not upset her by telling her. How did he get in here? I'm going to go and ask him. No. Let me. You stay here. I'll go give him a bloody good piece of my mind. Well, no, in the house, the Home Secretary and Mr. Chandra Roy have long been enjoying what they call on the subcontinent a tender embrace without trousers. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tom. I thought we agreed that you wouldn't take notes. No, we didn't. I think we did, so if you just give me that. No. Yes, no. What's the matter? This man is a journalist. Tom somebody. Not Tom Braeburn. No. No, the bloody turd pipe who suggested my parentage was a doubt. Oh, what? Wait, 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 wait. Look! Get out of here! I'll set my dogs 